I went to Milton Keynes the other day and if you've ever been to that shopping centre you will know that you can cut through the entirety of the shopping centre if you walk through boots. I meant to cut through, I bought a lot of stuff, I didn't even mean to, I didn't even need to, but I was shopping without a child which meant I had a lot of things free like my brain and my hands so shopping seemed easy so I picked up a few beauty bits and I thought I would show you them today. First two things I picked up were, God it feels weird, I haven't I haven't done a beauty haul in such a while, I've forgotten how to do it. I bought some concealers. Mm -hmm. I bought the collection Lasting Perfection in shade two. This is my all time favorite, it's amazing. I've tried a million different luxury high end um, concealers and this is the one I always come back to. And I also really like the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Effect Radiant Glow Concealer in shade don't know, don't know, in, in, in sort of this, this shade, same as this one really. You always need more than one concealer, for sure, because one always ends up in my handbag. If I'm going out, I'll always throw in a concealer for emergencies, and then you need one in your drawer. So two is essential. Some sure cotton dry deodorant so that I don't stink. I don't need any more moisturiser, but this smells delicious. This is the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Cream Body Butter extra extreme but it's cream <laughs> it's cream for your body and it smells like angel's breath it's delicious they used to just do a sugar crush in this and then when they brought out the cream i got very very excited in my heart so now i own this so that when i shave my legs and stuff or when i wear fake tan i do a full body moisturize that sounds gross uh, but i like to slather this all over like my naked body there's a visual for you and then put the tan on. I said sugar crush, I meant sugar scrub. Foundation, this one. It's the Bourjois um, Radiance Reveal Healthy Mix, Healthy Glow, and oh my God, I don't know what the title is, there's so much information on this. It's the fruity one, it's got a little picture of fruit on it. It's the Healthy Mix, Healthy Glow, Radiance Reveal Foundation in a shade called number 53. I didn't match my shade very well, um, if I was honest, it was really busy around all the counters and I couldn't really get to much and I didn't want to stand there for ages trying to match it, especially as I've already done my face. So I just sort of guessed. I've run out of my current foundation, which is Rimmel Wake Me Up, and I really, really like that one. But sometimes I think that if you go through, if you keep using the same foundation, it feels like my skin becomes immune to it, like, like a virus it works out the immunization, so I have to get a new one, which is what's happened. So I'm gonna trick my skin into thinking that it doesn't know what to do with this one, it can't eat this one up during the day. Oh, I'm really out of touch with beauty halls, aren't I? This one, I also really like that it has a pump because you can just go and like squirt it out rather than tipping and making a mess, so that's good. This I will surely lose. If you've been watching a while, you will know that my house is the place where lids come to die. I don't know where the lids go, but that won't remain there for long. Picked up a new mascara whilst I was at the bourgeois counter. This is Volume Clubbing Ultra Black. I don't love the packaging of this. I think it's a bit crazy, but I did like the brush of this because it looks fat and it is like brushy and not plasticky. You know, sometimes it's just the brush with little spikes. That's not what I wanted. I wanted one with bristles, so I'm gonna give this a go. I'm not wearing it today, but I'm gonna start wearing it in Ultra Black. I quite like bourgeois mascaras. At the Revlon counter I picked up this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour and this is in shade... Brilliant. Pink. It's beautiful. I thought this would be a really nice neutral but not a neutral because this does have some colour. I really like the neutrals but I don't want my, my lips to look like skin. I want them to look like lips, so I thought this would be like a my lips but better shade and I thought that it would make my teeth look a bit whiter because if you get like blue toned pinks and reds your teeth look whiter. So I'm really excited to try that because I've got another one from this range and they look nice on your lips. And then I went to the sleep counter and I went a bit crazy because I haven't had anything from sleep for a while. So I picked up the cream contour kit in light. I didn't really look at these in for much time, I just sort of grabbed basically. I'm gonna have a go at like proper contouring. Wow. It looks like this. I'm gonna have a go at proper contouring. I'm gonna like watch tutorials and like get really good at it. And the next time you see me, you'll be like, whoa, are those razors or are those your cheekbones? I also picked up a palette and this is the Vintage Romance one. 
I used to have sleep palettes all the time and think they're amazing. And then they hiked the prices up back in my day, back in my day, when I walked 18 miles to school and had no electricity, they were 4 95 And now they are 8 99 Kidding me. 8 99 So now they're nine pounds and that's a lot more than what it was. I liked the colours of this. I liked all the purpley hues. I thought I could do something quite fun with that. Purple looks quite nice and green eyes. So I thought that would be fun for the party season because I've got a lot of things already in my diary, which makes me feel really like social and like that people like me. <laughs> so I like it. I also picked up this highlighting palette in Precious Metals. This is in one of these cases. Oh, that's powder, but that's cream. 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 Well, I'm glad we've discovered these things together. I'm not sure how good they are, actually. Katie, have you heard good things about this? Apparently it's amazing. <gasps> it's amazing. I'm excited to try that. <laughs> Katie Snooks, everybody. It's amazing. Five star review. And that's it. That's all I picked up. It seems like that's not a lot, but that was quite costly, especially as all I wanted to do was walk through a shop to get to another location in a shopping centre. But I ended up just picking up all those bits. Uh, so I've hauled them for you. I would love to know what you are loving from the high street at the moment and if you enjoyed this haul, uh, what did you like in it and uh, just how your days are, that kind of thing. I'm feeling a bit giddy. Oh, this t-shirt, this jumper says right to be me. I'm going to put some information about it below for you. Sorry for the stroking there. See you soon. Bye!